Madeline Check from Team Sugar Supply. I'm a USPSA Grandmaster. I found out about USPSA online, um, sort of got into it when I was 21 years old. I sort of taught myself to shoot, um, got some DVDs and kind of trained myself. Started out in IDPA and then found out about USPSA and uh, that's what I compete with. So, yeah. I got into competition shooting just because I like the aspect of competing against other people. I played hockey in college. Um, after that I did some uh, auto racing for a little bit. I had a Corvette um, and then I sort of found out about shooting. I got into that and I really liked uh, being able to compete, being able to see your scores improve over time, being able to go to the bigger matches, being able to go to nationals and see the guys that you hear about you know, online and, and winning the titles, be able to compete directly against them. That was great. I shoot a Tanfolio Stock 2 in USPSA production. I've um, been shooting that for about four years. Before that, I shot a Glock for about five years. Um, nothing wrong with that, it got me up to master, but uh, I really like my uh, heavy steel gun. For training, I try to dry fire uh, four to five times a week, only for about maybe 15, 20 minutes a day. Uh, after that, if you're doing it right, if you're really squeezing the gun like you should be, your hands are pretty tired, so it's pretty much time to take a break. We try to do live fire uh, two days a week, and then there's matches on the weekend. So for the shooter starting out, there's just so much information out there on the web that's great to read and sort of absorb, but like I said, there's just so much to take in, it's tough to know where to start sometimes. So I'd recommend maybe taking an introductory class with someone who's been shooting matches for a while, um, maybe getting some of the books uh, online from some of the top trainers, uh, Ben Steger, uh, Steve Anderson, Mike Seeklander, and starting with that because that's a regimented process rather than just kind of reading what some guy on YouTube says or what some guy on YouTube says. So uh, that'd be a great way to start. Please like and share our videos with your friends. Until next time.